October 9th, 2020, would have been John Lennon's 80th birthday. We first met John on May 5th, 1972, at the record plant in New York City, the very studio he was returning from when he was killed on December 8th, 1980. We were invited there by hippie street singer David Peel, who was friends with the Lennons. John Lennon, Yoko Ono. New York City are your people. And we met David. Uh, well, somebody took us down, either yeah. Howard Smith or Jerry. I'm not sure. Yeah, which, Howie, uh, Howard, Howard was and uh, Jerry uh, later on. Oh, I see, Howard was at first and said, you got to come and see this guy who sings in the park. Crazy you know, guy. Crazy guy. Mm. <laughs> well, you don't have to say it, David. They don't know, you know. And uh, so we went down, there was this crazy guy shouting about rip-off rock stars and all that. And I thought, oh, he's got that mean, he's hiding around the edge of the group. And then we still watched him, and then uh, it was great. Sean and Yoko were at the record plant, mixing and producing an album for Elephant's Memory. These are elephants on the floor, these guys. Give you that face, you never believe the memory. Elephant's Memory. And... Uh, how did we meet them? Well, it was, was that, like, was, that uh, was Jake. Yeah. Somebody played it. Jerry played us a tape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a dangerous lad. Mm -hmm. That madman played us a tape. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> we liked it, you know, and they were saying, well, they wanted to work with us. Mm -hmm. And anyway, we met them. And, and then, then all know, things about elephants kept happening. Yeah. What was it? And I thought, wow, elephants' memory, you know, memory is like a nice thing. Oh, she likes all that yeah, mind yeah. stuff, so that's not it. Chuck idolized John and was fascinated by his work. The two of them became fast friends after the interview to the point where John invited Chuck to stay with him for a month in Los Angeles. You were into something called Primal Scream. Oh. What is all that about? And I've never heard of it. Well, uh, that? it's like uh, let, crying, you know. What happens to, uh, when, you, when you go through one of these sessions? Well, you cry. Mm. So, when they, how do they do that? What do they do well, to you? you, you, you do? like unlearn or learn how to be yourself, which is uh, cry when something hurts. Mm. You know? Why did you move to New York City? Any particular reason? Oh. <laughs> so, why did we move? Well, uh, uh, Yoko was always going on about it to me, you know, and saying, like, New York this, New York that, and I'd never really seen it. I got the feel of it when we first arrived and all our hit records were on the radio. But after that, it wore off, you know. And uh, so, I got to like it as she showed it me more before I could never go anywhere. So she sort of took me to the village and we go to the movies and we go and eat and, and it was it was all right. Nobody was hassling me, you know, unless they were either dead drunk or junkies or something. John Lennon, Yoko Ono And New York City are your people John Lennon, Yoko Ono Bye bye. If you want to see more videos of John and our other guests, click on one of the links below and hit the subscribe button, and you won't miss any videos from the Underground News Archives.